she was always smiling. She had long hair down to her shoulders. She had these lovely, like, knee-high boots, and she used to hate me to wear them, and of course I always did. She thought text messaging was the best thing ever. If I had the big test, she'd text me and see how it went. If I ever had a problem or something happened at school, I'd go straight to her and she'd know what to do. I don't really like going into other people's houses. Their mums and dads are being so close, it's kind of like, my family isn't like that anymore. My entire life, my mum had smoked, so I didn't know the difference. I always knew like that like it's bad and that you can get cancer and you can die. You're thinking, no way, nobody's that unlucky. We'd have like the karaoke out and then mum would be in the middle of Papa Don't Preach. The entire family would crack up laughing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, she's great crack that you'd always, you'd walk out and there'd be something she'd be doing and the next night it would be turned into the funniest thing going, like, so. She was 45 when she was diagnosed with lung cancer and she was 46 when she passed away. It's not just for a day, it's not just for a month, it's for the rest of my life without her.